Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, welcome back to our Google Data Studio series. In this video, I am going to show you how you can add a scorecard in Google Data Studio. So the first question is, do you know what is a scorecard? So when I say a scorecard, what comes in your mind? Let me tell you what is a scorecard is. So scorecard is usually used to display the exact summary of a single metric. It is commonly used to visualize the key performance indicator and it measures the relative health or performance of your business. So whenever you have to provide the health of your business or you have to visualize the key KPI of your business, then you should use your scorecard. So how we can add a scorecard in Google Data Studio? To add a scorecard, you need to go on click on this add a chart button okay you will see the second option this is scorecard so there are two type of scorecards in google data studio first one is a simple scorecard where you will see the entire absolute number and the second one is the scorecard with compact number so let me show you both of them so first i'll create this scorecard okay So by default, the scorecard has taken sum of customer number, but that should not be my KPI. It should be actually the count of customer number. Okay. So one of the one of the scorecard I'll keep as the count of customer number. Okay. And the another one which I'll keep the sum of amount. Okay. Again, I'll go to score add a chart and then this is scorecard. Okay. So the first one I have kept, kept the simple scorecard with the numbers and the second one I have kept as the scorecard with compact numbers. Okay. Now I'll take here the amount. So one thing that you need to understand is that these are the scorecards and when you apply a filter in Google Data Studio or when you add a filter using this add a control button if you add any filter those filters will by default work on these scorecards also okay so these are the two scorecards which is available in google data studio one is absolute number and then the second one is with the compact number okay now you can match the numbers here 26052 so our record count was 26.1k okay this is matching and the second one is the amount in our previous tables was 4.1 billion currently the amount showing in the scorecard is also 4.1 billion great now i had to format these two scorecards so how we can do this if you want to format multiple scorecards then you click a particular scorecard first then press control button and click on the second scorecard then both of these scorecards will be selected you have to go to style okay then if you want compact number you can select it but for our first scorecard we don't want compact numbers right now the decimal precision will always keep is as auto because in our selection we have amount and customer number customer number can never be in floating point okay we don't have any comparison metric so we'll keep it as blank when there is no data or missing data we can show it either as zero dash null or blank so i will keep it as dash okay labels if you want to change the font size you can change it through labels i will select this deep black or let's keep it as red okay this pixel size pixel is i'll select 30 and the font i'll select as this one now if you want to hide the metric name so currently we can see that it's written customer number here and amount here if you want if you want to hide it you can check this button and it will be hidden but i would not suggest you to do that so let's keep the metric there okay and i'll keep the metric name in center and the metric value is also in center now if you want to change the background of this scorecards you can do from this background and borders let's select something as yellow okay or let's select some other color as green okay and the border i'll select as black 
this one has 5 and this one has dashed no dash doesn't look good so let's take solid only okay if you want to add border shadow you can check this button if you want to add some padding then you can select this one left right okay and from top let's select four pixel if you want to show the chart header you can select from this option that whether you want to always show it or show on once the mouse will be there or you do not want to show it okay so we have covered this style part let's go to data part now currently for this scorecard we have customer number as metric default range we do not want that sorry default date range we do not want that because in our data we do not have the accurate date okay so if you want to add any filter you can add from here you can click on this add a filter okay so suppose i want only for gold cards this customer number so what i have to do is that i have to click on add a filter okay then i'll click on create a filter then i'll select card filter i'll put the name as card filter okay then i'll select include because i just want to include gold card type i'll select card type and the condition would be either equal to or contain i'll keep equal to and i'll put gold and then i'll click on save so you will see that this number will change and by default every time when you refresh this dashboard then this filter will be applied so let's remove this filter for now okay and we have this scorecard similarly we can go and change apply the filter for this scorecard also okay so let's go and see how does it look when we go on a view mode so we had our tables we had our scorecard here so this is how basically you create a scorecard so we have reached at the end of this video in our next video i'll show you how we can create a time series graph in google data studio hey if you find this video insightful then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button